Alrighty then, folks. Hello there, and welcome back to some more Super Robot Wars D. So in the last episode, we got Keto, and I had totally forgot to do this, but he has IFS, which, as you get higher, you get better, and I believe at 130, he gets into a special mode. Really high potential, so he gets really good as the lower HP he gets. So healing him at that last attack in the previous mission, probably a bad idea, but whatever. Dash, which grants one movement. So I believe we can't give him dash, or if we give him dash, we'll give him dash plus two. I don't remember if you can get multiple levels of dash. And then, you know, ignore size. Um, so I, this is a... Oh, this is a size small. So he doesn't get a penalty when hitting up to large. I believe small, or I believe large units get a bigger penalty hit for hitting small than small for large. But I could be misremembering. As far as attacks go, we saw this one, which is Anchor Claw. Long range cannon, short range cannon. These are both ammo based, so they're actually kind of good to use. And then Distortion Attack, which takes, you know, 110 morale, so basically 5, 10, five kills or 5 turns, and 25 energy. So he could also have problems of running out of energy, because I believe his is only like. Oh, it, it's 200, so he could do it 8 times, technically. As long as he doesn't Anchor Claw. Yeah, I. Um, so, I don't think, we picked up a mobility kit and a sniper kit. Hmm. I'm actually going to throw the, mo uh, the sniper kit. Oh, no, I thought that was accuracy. Okay, so I'm going to throw the critical, um, or the sniper kit on him, and then I'm going to throw the magnetic coating on Maz, so Maz dodges a little bit better. Or should I stick it on the Gassem? You know what? She doesn't have any morale abilities. Now he can distortion it. Or, not magnetic coating. Got him. Dumb. Now he can distortion attack immediately. I also have a repair kit in which I believe Nobel can also repair enemies. But I'm going to give it to you just in case because I feel like you're one of those characters I need to stick out in the middle of everyone so you can hit everyone. But that hasn't been the case so far. And also... I'm kind of tempted to do the Gispent. Guess Pest? I don't know. I'm gonna do Dan on Thursday just because I'm curious. And watch, this is the mission he leaves you. But then again, if we put money into him when we get his mid season upgrade, we'll get, if he has one anyway, his mid season upgrade will also get it, so we're doubling up on money. Like, Domon's not gonna get a mid season upgrade because God Gundam? That's not bad. That's just like a base stat increase. No problem with that. So we're going to get a mid-season upgrade. She won't. He may or may not. I don't believe Maz will. He definitely won't. Maybe. I don't know why you're in this Cowboy Bebop, but you are. No, Bell Gundam isn't and Burning Gundam isn't. Unless they throw some shit out of Blessed Field. Oh, and if you're wondering why I don't generally change pilot... It's because I like keeping the unit in their suit. I know that you should change pilots, and there's some who are just better with suits than others, but I'm not going to. Sorry, if that's a problem for you. That reminds me. Um, so... Yeah, it doesn't directly tell me how much they can move. But I think Domon, we're going to give Dash. Oops. Um, Dash. Actually, we're not going to give him Dash because Dash is freaking expensive. So we will do that later in the game. 1500, holy hell. And we're back in that bar we were at before. We hired him part-time. He only has to battle the first four turns out of the battle. It's fine. So that's generally one of the things I always see. It's like, if you're going to hire somebody who has a giant robot, pay, uh, offer to repair the robot instead of feed them. Or pay them. Feed them too. That's just useful. But it's like, the maintenance on the machine is probably super expensive. So having somebody to do the maintenance on it? Very good. If you can do it anyway. So they don't need pay. They, they're getting free maintenance and you're just, you know, making them have more maintenance. 
then occasionally give them a bonus so they don't feel like they're getting gypped. Works really well sometimes. It was part of the torture. And it really fucked him over. Oh yeah, spoilers. She's not actually dead. The ending's not any, you know, bright or anything like that, but it's... It's a thing, at least. It's a good thing you have, like, you know, this corporate legal team to just write you contracts. Contracts are annoying. Luckily, I don't have to write them anymore, so... That was the old job, though. Of course, they don't have milk, dude. Why would they have milk? They don't have cows. So either this is a rival, or this is that uh, older sister who tags along. And like the pseudo love triangle forms after a little while, and then it breaks when you realize that he either has no interest in her or she has no interest in him. Or she's a broker, that works too. You know, a bit character who gives you information that one time to do something stupid, and it turns out bad but good in the end. Is that a real base? That was like five guys. Oh, of course. Like, guns? Or, like, people were kidnapping? Because I'm fine with that. Like, let's do that. It'll make us a lot of money. Or, you know, Captain Harlock's in this game. Also, the Rose Gundam's in this game. I'm not sure who the one on the left is, though. So we're about to fight a Frenchman who fights with flowers. Don't worry, it kind of looks like Napoleon and it has the matador cape. I'm assuming this is the new Captain Harlock, not the original. So this will be our first, you know, ship. Besides the Nadesco, but the Nadesco hasn't officially joined us. So it hasn't happened yet, damn it.
All right, so we're just gonna cut this kid's head off, right? Right. You shot a laser gun, which if I remember correctly, actually does look like a Luger. It, it, for some reason, I thought that was Cecilia from F91. I was about to ask, is F91 in this game too? It might be, I just don't remember. Yeah, I know it's a slightly different style, but with the cloak over it and, you know, the scar, which is literally exactly the same. So you're French and you know who she is. Great. I mean, he is French. It's what you expect. Or to slap you with a white glove. I believe this is the love interest character he had that, you know left after 43 seconds. I honestly don't remember her, though. And yes, he fights with an Apey. And, and that's a gun. Some terrorists are attacking, and we're having a Gundam fight. Or Yegans. Yegans work, too. Or Jigans, depending on who you ask, but it's a Y, damn it, not a J. You're our new cabin boy. You know what the cabin boy's for? Because I do, and it's disturbing. Alright, so we're fighting for freedom. So we're about to go gun down a bunch of civilians because freedom is free and they were slaves, and it's fine. They'll be happy in the end. It's fine. Whatever you say, Captain Okada. Oh, we just have to kill five people. Sweet. And so we have, you know, Harlock. Space pirate, which... As long as they have higher HP than us, we get 20% damage, and we get a lot of money and tech points for kills, which is nice. Well, better money and tech points. Also, we have a 1 to 3... Uh... We have missiles, pulsar cannons, and pulsar rapid fire cannons. Oh, wait. Real quick. I was not paying attention. Yeah, so we need five kills. I'm only assuming that they're going to get within range of us, and then we're going to get more people. Okay, so this is basically the same, except for it's painted, you know, blue. And as far as the Jägen, the Jägen is a Federation-style mobile suit that was developed at the end of the Neo Zeon War, so the end of the war in Double Zeta. It has a beam rifle and a beam saber. It's a mass production version of the Zeta and a couple of others with their data all mixed into one. It was primarily used by the space forces called Londo Bell in the UC timeline. Uh, the Londo Bell, though, was under a lot of scrutiny because uh, recently, well, about three years beforehand, about the time they formed, because they found they were formed in 0090, a group called the Titans were basically, you know, space terrorists, or space Nazis, even worse than the actual space Nazis. Um, analyze. 
Oh, for a specific target in this one. Before it was every unit of that type, but oh well. But yeah, um, so they were like space Nazis, except for really bad space Nazis. And so the others, it was to the point where the actual space Nazis were against them. Okay, cool, that one can't counter us. Yeah, and they were defeated by the AUG, who are basically, you know, rebels till they got the side of the Federation by giving the speech by Char Aznable, who is the head of, of Zeon at the time. Well, he was a commander of Zeon and the son of the guy who created Zeon. He admitted who he was, and a whole bunch of stuff happened. And then he disappears after the final battle, because he got a movie approved and didn't need to be in the next series. But they're fairly powerful units. They're used for like 40 years, up until 129 when the James Gunn was developed. Okay, almost a kill, but not a kill. But I believe we get morale for hitting people, so... And as weird as this is going to sound, I don't actually want Harlan to kill anyone. Because we're just going to have somebody wipe a move in the middle of them, pull Harland out of the way, and have them all target that person who moved in the middle of them. Yep. Yep. Really? I will say this once, and I'll say this again. It always pisses me off when a pirate won't plunder, because you're not a pirate, you're a brigand then. Pirates specifically are stealing shit off ships. It, but in Japanese, pirate is space ban or is sea bandit. Or in turn, space bandit. Wow, George is on our side in this one. That is the Rose Gundam. Oh great, now Pronto's here. What, is Noctis going to show up and start stabbing people? I think I'm going to send Dan out just because Dan has a good hit chance. And with that upgrade we got him before, like, pretty useful. Oh, and it's cool, they're going on their own. Ixo. I mean, if we really wanted to be dicks, we could say these guys were legitimately working with terrorists. Because what we're here to do is kill terrorists, and then they started attacking us while we were fighting terrorists. And then we'll doctor some footage, and these guys were randomly terrorists for some reason. And we don't quite know why, and we are very curious as to why this is the case. And that, sirs, is how you bullshit a terrorist. Thing when you guys have equal amounts of opportunity. Will it work? Maybe. Oh, wait. This is the Rose Gundam, Neo France's mobile suit. It was destroyed in the semifinals by, I believe, the Walther Gundam. It has rose bits, which are literally bits, which are controlled with your mind. And they look like roses. It also has a Chevalier Saber, or Chevalier depending on who you ask. 
and Rose Screecher, which is what happens when you drink some rose oil and then you get diarrhea from drinking rose oil. Not that that's happened before or anything. Oh god. Crossbone's in this and you're gonna be like uberly in love with Crossbone. Is Crossbone in this? I think so. Oh yeah, um The Bada was in this early on. It is in this. Of course it is. Alright, Spiegel, of course you start on the other side of the freaking map, so you'll never be of use. That's why you're getting benched. Also, the Rose Gundam has a support attack, which is cool. So yeah, we're gonna have Harlan... or Harlick... pulled down and over, get surrounded by these guys. We'll have uh, Dan move up into the middle of them, so they all attack him. We get him to EX5, and then... Ow. I meant to have him attack, if possible, but I was stupid and misclicked again. I generally do that. Um, yeah, that should be fine. Oh, and then we'd kill him. That works, too. Cool. Um, so we're not actually going to use the big... Oh, that's not the big fuck you attack. Never mind. I'm curious to see if these guys have the same animation. You're a dirty bitch. Now get out. Of course, that is kind of an in-joke, and you wouldn't really get it, so... Just ignore I said anything. Okay, yeah, their attack animation was exactly the same. I wanted it to be different, though. Oh, oops. Well, we'll skip through this one and I'll turn off battle next round. And when we get uh, Dan to five kills, or Va uh, Van, Van, Dan, I'm gonna use him interchangeably, damn it. When we get him to five kills, then, or EX5 anyway, we'll then start using everyone else. I wanna try to see Harlux, like, special attack, but I don't think it's gonna happen. Alright, so, uh, alright, that works for me, because I don't think he's going to be able to take up, you know, like, ten shots from the enemy. Oh, and we can retreat people, this lowers their morale back to base, which is 100, but it heals them every turn. And I believe they lose more morale per turn they spend in there. So it's kind of a lose-lose situation, so I'll probably never use it. Damn it, Saigiri, don't get hit. Yes, we're actually getting Tetsuya a kill. Ooh, you finally got intuition. Sweet. I was hoping that would happen. Um. Um. Can we move an attack with long range cannons? Okay, yeah, we can't. Maybe next time, then. Um, you know what? Let's use Rose Bits. Or Chevalier Saber. And yes, he's one of those characters who, you know, gives a road to everyone. Yeah, 
Yes, let's stab people. Why not? Totally not a bad idea or anything. Alright, so Spiegel, you can get to here. Doman. Keto, and then the Nobel, I'll just keep you in the back. Oh yeah, I can repair people. Oh, I should have repaired. Damn, I'll do that next round. Because I don't imagine we'll use uh, the Nobel for much. Okay, he needs two more kills and then we should be good. Yeah. One more kill. I love how they'll take 0% uh, chance to hits. So nice. So, weirdly enough, since they have four Jägens, this means it's a squad and an extra person. It's usually Jägens are only deployed in squads of three. That's our point. Yay! Range. Weirdly enough, uh, that ship doesn't actually look like a pirate ship because of the back forecastle. It actually looks like a cog to me, which was a uh, 12th century, mostly English and French style uh, high masted, high uh, walled transport ship. Uh, it was very large and there was only one deck to it. It was originally designed so it was tall enough to shoot down the longbows on, or shoot down on longboats of Norse creation. It was mainly employed in, you know, the 11th and 12th century. And it was actually used for like the Hundred Years War and everything. Ooh, hyper mode. Sadly, you don't turn gold when you go hyper mode, which disappoints me greatly. But I'm assuming that's an unlock later thing. Yeah, I'll try to show you guys uh, long-range cannons after this. Yeah, so I'm just going to imagine his ship is a cog, not actually what it is. Oh, also, you have focus and flash. Useful. Oh, it's only one battle, though. So the main uh, the main character's at 25 kills right now, which means he's halfway towards ace. We only really need to get him to ace, so I'm gonna actually avoid using him for a little while. Oh, daunt. Oh, right. As I said before, I, I honestly don't imagine we're actually going to ace her, but we can try. And I have no problem uh, pumping her full of, you know, scouting missions and stuff. Did I scout at the beginning of this battle? Did I scout at the end of the last battle? I really hope I did. I'll rewatch the footage if I didn't. Cool. We 
got points for a for killing a Yegan. All right then. Um, Nobel. You know what? We're gonna go get a freaking Nobel kill. Ain't that a trip? Twenty-five HP left. And you know what we're gonna use? Oh, we can't move and attack with us. All right. Yeah, we just got a Nobel kill. Okay, so we've done Doman before. Right, yeah, you don't have... You don't have 4C or anything like that just yet. Okay. Alright, so Domon, you're gonna move here. You're gonna erupting burning finger this guy. You don't need to, but we're gonna do it anyway. Uh, Dan, we're gonna move you up to here. You're going to machete this bloke. Oh, you already have a guaranteed hit. We're gonna have a Keto move over here, distortion attack this bloke. I probably should have showed you their attack, but my bad. We'll see it eventually. I have no doubt we'll be fighting many, many Jägens. I, I think that's more a Keto, a man to be feared, but okay. Okay, you can't do that. Is the Nobel going to get another kill? It is... I imagine around, like, mission 15 or 20, they're all going to join us at once. Also, is that a blimp? I was about to say blimps don't work on Mars, but yeah. Ah, Clop Class Cruisers, with some dude named Mr. Zone on them. Those are Clop Class Transports. They can carry up to nine mobile suits. Two of them were constructed for Londo Bell, with an additional two being constructed after the uh, second Neo Zeon War, or Char's Little rebellion -y thing, uh, for a total of four. Other, uh, some were, you know, repurposed for Federation fleets after Londo Bell was dissolved. Um, some were even given to the League Millionaire in Victory Gundam. They're basically the, uh, the, like, scaled-down version of the Rock Hallam. They're both slower, have less weapons, carry less mobile suits, but the Rock Hallam was the flagship. Yay, free defense up. I imagine we'll be seeing a lot more of them. You can't just hire everyone. It's not really how it works. You have to agree to it.
we're gonna kidnap him and such. But anyway, folks, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, you should like. If you didn't, you should dislike. Um, I'm gonna go back look at the footage. If I didn't do a sub order, I will go replay the mission and get it then. So the kill counts might be a little bit different next time, but oh lord. All right, and just so I don't forget this time... Oh, wait, that's simulator. I don't care about that. Oh. Um... So... Let's think tactically here. Tetsuya, I want to get kills. Domo, I want to get kills. Saizo's actually at the top, though. So, like, Sagiri and Domo. Um, Captain Harlock, I'm suspecting I'm probably never going to ace him, unlike the, uh, the Yamato in the other game, which was really good. I don't really see it as being useful. He'll mostly just be for the Commandor, most likely. And Tetsuya will probably get a lot of kills, so I'm not going to worry about that. So instead, you guys are going to go gonna go fundraising because you know who's better fundraising than literally the most notorious pirate out there yay we got some more kills and such we also got a bunch of money but anyway folks that was that if you liked the episode if you liked it dislike it if you didn't we'll be back uh next monday or next tuesday i haven't decided quite yet for more anyway folks good night ロゼス